Hey guys, this is Gail the Quick here. Uh, just going to go over a World of Tanks replay. Uh, no, not more normal thing, but I've been playing World of Tanks lately. And I uh, had a really awesome game, and I kind of wanted to review it just to see what went so well and how I can duplicate that in the future. Uh, so this is a uh, T-34, just the basic one, none of the upgraded models from the game. Uh, I try to keep all the cool historical tanks in my inventory and decided to play with the T-34. So uh, all we're going to do is I see this guy pass in front of me. Uh, that's the boss. Can I change the camera? Yeah. The boss, right over there. And I uh, notice he's in a slightly upgraded model of the T-34. See if I can get that. Yeah, T-34-85M. And uh, so I decided to roll with him since uh, you know our speeds will be somewhat comparable. Uh, firepower as well. So I figure he'd be a good person to stick around with. Also, he has more hit points than me. Don't want to crash into him. And uh, yeah, I'll be able to uh, have him take a couple shots for me, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so my initial plan was actually to stay back and then try to uh, react since I have a little bit of speed and uh, just wait for the spotting of the enemy tanks to happen and then react accordingly. Uh, but then I started following the boss around here and he decided to go into the city, which I normally don't do because I'm not too good at that. Uh, but yeah, so we go into this area in the middle. We got the boss here and the heater turning on the background. Sorry if you uh, hear some rushing wind. And uh, yeah, kind of crowded and I'm, I'm honestly too close up on the boss here. I should probably have stepped back a little bit as we get into this little bind right here. You see you got four tanks in this little traffic jam. If uh, artillery shell came down on us right now that would be uh, not the worst uh, since the artillery kind of at this tier isn't a uh, really very really large AoE uh, but that'd be an easy hit like the artillery wouldn't have to wait long to re-aim. Yeah, get some fire there. That guy's trying to peek out. Fire at those guys in the uh, the street there and you see the boss getting up there and right here I noticed that uh, there's no easy way around this they're just going to do that annoying little peak thing uh, like uh, spawn camping so I decided to rush out use my speed go by take a pot shot I get a hit reload pretty quickly take another hit that one's a miss and yeah just uh, getting as much aggro as I can on these guys so that uh, I free up that attention so they can make a move you can see I'm making a move right there uh, to get around and you can see my team right now is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's five down. Only two kills have happened. The enemy team is only two down. You can see down on the mini map in the bottom uh, right hand corner uh, that we've been completely lost on the east side. Uh, we got uh, three, four tanks. Looks like moving up there. They've Looks like they've moved to take out artillery, our artillery, and it's going very, very well for them. I'm going to resume that right there. And. Uh, yeah, so I try to peek out, take a pot shot. Uh, doesn't work too well, take quite a bit of damage. I decide to wait because I see my allies, like the boss, uh, Sables, and such maneuvering. And they actually take out that heavy. That would give me a problem. So I decide to move up, see if I can take a pot shot in that light. And I do. And I get a kill. And so just like that, in a few seconds, we've been able to turn around the battle. It's not completely turned around, but you can see uh, the total numbers remaining are still quite comparable. Uh, so we, this little group that has kind of come together from the city push, uh, we try to stick together. Uh, not too close. You don't want to avoid a traffic jam like last time. We got a uh, tank destroyer over there. I do the same thing. Try to loop around, get some damage, use my speed, take some aggro, or tank some aggro, <laughs> uh, to try and uh, break up their attention and uh, split their focus around. I uh, try to shoot there. It doesn't work. But I managed to get around behind this guy, get another shot, see my advanced breaking technique there, and that's my second kill of the game. And so you also see with uh, the people that are alive here, they it's not one guy that has a lot of kills, it's several people uh, that have uh, just a few kills. And I think that's kind of, yeah, I die right here. I don't know if I'll be able to switch to someone else. Is there a way to do that? Yeah. So, switch over to the boss here that I fall for the rest of the game and uh, yeah so very even kind of distribution of total kills and I don't like to use uh, kills or kill to death ratio stuff like that because uh, I feel like other objectives should drive the gameplay uh, but really these matches are played just in a kills kind of thing um, but what happens when it's just one person who's really contributing a lot is that if that person's eliminated then your entire team can become screwed because they were kind of relying on a carry and that's now what happened here Uh, so, yeah, it just seems to me like it was not exactly a perfectly lucky game. Uh, we did get kind of our shit kicked in on the east side at the beginning. Remember, there was the uh, artillery was destroyed and stuff. 
that's the end of the replay there. Um, but uh, yeah, they were pinned down and maneuvered around to try to break their focus and allow me, my enemies, or my allies to maneuver and prevent the enemy from maneuvering. Uh, so that seems pretty good. Hopefully I'll be able to re replicate that in future games. Uh, if you like World of Tanks, if you like tanks in general, uh, I might post some more of this. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't. Uh, otherwise, subscribe, follow, like, what have you. Uh, I'm Keel the Quick. Don't die.